Right. Very good evening. An absolute bomb shell of content. This is horrific. And a shout out to a fellow YouTube channel, Eva Moore, NUFC, and Chris, who I've just been watching and I've got notes. It's a seven, his was a seven minute video. I think mine would be a little bit longer than that because, oh my God, this is powerful and this is like an earthquake. Now, if you remember, if you cast your mind back, I did a video on this channel and I spoke about is the Premier League going stale? Now, in there, I mentioned the FFP, PSR. Well, this has affected every single club in the Premier League, and that is 20 clubs, not one. All 20 clubs. Right, strap yourself in. Here we go. Now, as many of us know, Manchester United have, like I said in my previous video, won the Premier League title 13 times. Some say 13 is an unlucky number. However, here's the thing. Manchester United is owned majority by the Glazers. They're American. And how that links to this is, it blows your mind. So they posted their financial results in New York on the New York Stock Exchange. And they would have failed the FFP forward stroke PSR during COVID. Why? They have a bloody massive stadium, which is Old Trafford. 70,000 plus. I believe it's 75,000 the ground holds even though it needs to be repaired now a special arrangement and this special arrangement was let out of the bag and i'll come to that shortly now he has the the bombshell in the ffp psr you under the Premier League rules, be allowed to lose a hundred and five million over three years. So here's the crack. There's twenty clubs in the Premier League, yet one club was given forty million quid. The other nineteen clubs, well, they got one million pound each. And why? Why did one club, Manchester United, get 40 million quid and the rest of the clubs get just the one million pound during COVID? Now, as Chris says, corruption. It has to be. It must be illegal. Because it's pure favouritism. Because it's been said for a long time in the Premier League, the top six clubs. Now, it actually gets worse. Now, 
Manchester United were given special allowances. We all heard about the long drawn out affair where the Glazers didn't have a clue about football so they invited people to take a stake in the club. Now this money from the sale i.e. the sale of shares from the Glaziers or Glazers to Sir Jim Radcliffe thirty five million pound. Now that's come through a special allowance because well you're Manchester United. You've won the Premier League thirteen times. Oh my god. Now um they and others have always been known as the top six. Now, this has been reported by Jim White on TalkSport. And it's about financial fair play. And Chris mentions the fact that Newcastle United, richest club on planet Earth, because who we are owned by but we're handcuffed we can't spend that because of FFP PSR we had to sell Yakuba Minta and we had to sell Elliot Anderson one went to Brighton and Hove the other went to Nottingham Forest who I'll bring up in a second. Financial fair play is for 20 clubs. Not one. Straight up. Now, here's the thing. and Everybody knows this. Everton were fined and docked. Same thing with Nottingham Forest. I live in Nottingham. Now, getting back to this point, Sir Jim Radcliffe, who now controls the first team of Manchester United, there was a special arrangement with the Premier League. How utterly disgusting. And this is, like Chris has just said, from Evermore NUFC. This is all over social media. So I've only just picked it up because to write what I've put on this bit of paper here, this A4 pad, yeah, I've had to listen to Chris from his YouTube channel. He's a fellow YouTuber who covers our club. And I've had to write rewind and listen again and now I'm doing my video because this is an utter absolute disgrace by Richard Masters and how this has been allowed to happen when many clubs when Covid was around many clubs had nobody in the stadium the cameras were there but there was nobody there and why 19 clubs got one million pound each while manchester united well we'll give you 40 million utter and it's, it leaves a taste like you've just vomited and then it's gone back down. That's wrong. So, 
As I said at the beginning, a shout out to Eva Moore, NUFC, and Chris. Um, I watch his um, podcast regularly. I also watch other podcasts like Toon Review, Through Black and White Eyes, John Sinclair TV. So we all need to get together and spread this everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Because it's like the Premier League is just making the rules up as they go. And, you know, Newcastle United, when they were taken over by the Public Investment Fund, if you think back to that, that is the longest takeover in the history of the world. 18 months in utter disgrace. Absolutely. So, when you see this video, um, give some love to Chris at Evermore NUFC because I've just watched his YouTube channel and give mine a thumbs up that you like it, subscribe and spread the word on this because if fans don't stand up you you think back to the time when six clubs threatened to break away from the Premier League every fan of most clubs in the United Kingdom they took to the streets just think about that. Because Manchester United were in that group of six. And what did they get? Three million quid fine. They take more on the gate receipts with 75,000. Absolute and utter bloody disgrace. Anyway, thanks for watching.